Hey, what is going on there YouTube? This is The Gaming Guy and today's video I'm going to be going over the Spring Summer 19 season and what we know so far. I will be talking about most things that we know at this point in time or most things that we have heard and seen. However, I'm not going to be covering a full scope of everything because there are a couple of things that might have some copyright sort of issues and I just don't want to test my luck with things like that. But it's probably all okay because it would class under like the sort of fair use side but I just don't want to test my luck so I'll only be including a specific amount of things and talking about the other things as well but they'll still be mentioned and linked to if you want to go and look at them. Other than that let's get straight into this video as we've got quite a couple of things to talk about. So yeah. Let's get straight into this. Okay, so let's speak about the the sort of basic things that we do know so far, which I'll be dropping on screen, which I'll also link to most things in the description or in the comments section if I do mention it during this video. Now, yes, also I will be getting a haircut within the next week because it's a bit all over the place at the moment, but we know obviously the dates for this season. So the teaser is meant to be on February 4th, which is obviously next Monday. Like a week from now, we're meant to be getting the teaser. Uh, slash the sort of little video or little pictures that they put out at that point of time at the beginning of each season or just before the season begins. Following on from that a week later is when we get the lookbook slash the preview, we get the full book, we can go through everything, we can look at everything. I'll most probably be live streaming that because I feel that it's a lot easier than me recording the whole thing, editing the whole thing and then uploading the whole thing. I think if it's sort of previewed together you know I think that'd be a lot easier uh, I'll just have to test out obviously like recording an intro so that I can add that at the start because then live streams turn into actual videos so yeah I will just have to see how that works in order to record that or stream that following this uh, so obviously the lookbook preview is on the 11th of February, then on the 14th is when we get the first drop which is in store only. Jay has that the week one drop online is February 18th, but I'm just guessing that that means that the first week sort of initiates from the 18th to Thursday, but we'll have to wait and see for when the actual drop will be. And then obviously like a week and a half later on the 28th of February is going to be the week two drop which is the first collab that we get of the season. And then we just have the dates for the Japan uh, side of things because they're a little bit different. February 4th and 11th are the same for the teaser and the lookbook. The 16th and 23rd is when the sort of week one occurs for the in-store and online and March 2nd is when the week two first collab occurs. One thing that I did not mention when I was, I was just about to move on to the next like part to this video but one thing that I did not mention was that when it comes to the week one which is the 14th of February on the Tuesday the day after we get the lookbook is when you will sign up or when you'll be able to sign up to go in store now time for this is normally 11 o'clock to the like specific region or area uh, so the UK sign up is obviously 11 a.m. As well as other places, it's going to be 11 a.m. to their like standard time. But yeah, I'm sure people like Drops by J or other platforms will be mentioning this nearer the time and telling you, you know, sign up is today sort of thing. Okay, so now let's run through some of the details that I can and can't include, which I'll still probably throw up some pictures for for a couple of them, just because it comes under the Fair Use Act. So basically what occurred was that the Supreme Spring Summer 19 lookbook was found it was found to be public and as of this uh, obviously people started taking screenshots they started taking them and just slapping them everywhere over instagram and twitter and all of people's discords also if you'd like to join the discord server it's linked in the description so what occurred from this is basically that the people who tweeted or put out the instagram posts or things have in the end had either their posts taken down or they might still be up but in most cases they've been taken down the one who you can actually look at for this is Jay drops by Jay's Twitter if you look at all of the pictures that he's put out it says that the image has been removed by a copyright holder it says one of the options or reasons could be is that it's removed into response from a report from a copyright holder so yeah all of the pictures that he had posted that he had had and put out there are not available on his Twitter anymore due to them being taken down. They might just be down in the EU, they might just be down everywhere, but for me specifically I can't see any of the images that he has put out now because they are no longer available. The first thing that I can actually mention is that there's meant to be a Slipknot collaboration uh, coming this season which is meant to include tees, accessories, stickers, 
and more. Jay put this out quite a couple of weeks ago, but I've sort of been compiling all the things that I wanted to include, so yeah, this is one piece of news. Another thing that is meant to be dropping this season is called the Fruits Tea, I believe it is. So yeah, the Fruits Tea is literally fruit on a tea. It's sort of like the Still Life Tea that came out, however, this is a literal photo of fruit on a tea. <laughs> there have been a couple of other things that we've also seen as well, so we have seen uh, like a jersey or an NBA sort of jersey uh, that is meant to be coming out. I can throw up a mock-up I believe at this point in time because mock-ups can't be like claimed whereas other pieces can be claimed. Uh, so mock-ups, if you make mock-ups of things you shouldn't have any issues because that's your own work of it. But there are a couple of issues with posting things specifically. So yeah, we're meant to be having this jersey. As well as that there is meant to be a patchwork. Harrington jacket which I can throw pictures up of because somebody already has one or a couple of people already have them and we can take a look at what they look like. They also have the pants as well. I don't know if the Vans are a new Supreme collaboration as well or if they're old ones that people have but if they're wearing all of this sort of new things that are set to come out they might just have those as well. So obviously you can see on the right and the left you've got the black colorway then you've got the patchwork specifically all multicolored patchwork colorway personally to be honest i'm actually a fan of this jacket i really do like it i don't know what the retail would be people have been estimating about 200 pounds but i'm just a, i do like patchwork pieces as an overall and i think that this jacket really does look nice i'll just throw up another picture of someone wearing one of them uh, they also have it on their instagram so you can look through what else they have of supreme and other clothing wear but yeah, they have one of these pieces. One of the more recent pieces of news that we have is that there's going to be a Supreme Nike Tailwind collab. I'll throw the picture up on it. I'll throw a sort of mock-up up as well. Now, obviously, the mock-up does not represent, you know, the final product or what it will actually look like in the end. But it is just a mock-up of it. So there are a couple of pictures of that. So now we move on to the side of things that I sort of want to talk about. But at the same time, I don't really want to massively talk about okay so i was going through editing this video however i forgot about a couple of little details that i also wanted to mention so the first of which is about the san francisco store opening box logo now these are only mock-ups for this these aren't like like confirmed or anything like that these are just mock-ups so from the san francisco box logo uh the sort of information so far has been that it is possibly meant to be a yellow background with an eagle which is meant to represent San Francisco. Uh, we don't have any massive confirmation on this but this is just a mention of it. There's not going to be anything like the Brooklyn box logo uh, where it's got the full sort of camo colour with the supreme in the centre, nothing like that. It's just meant to be something that is relating to San Francisco. So there will probably be a confirmation on that at some point in time but at the present point in time we haven't got anything apart from that. Another thing that I did not mention was the Gore-Tex jackets. Uh, so we have some just pictures of them. They're going to be released as well. So I forgot about them, but they're going to be released as well. So one of the things that is meant to be coming out is going to be an anniversary box logo from Supreme. They do not release a lot of uh, spring summer box logos. They have released a couple in the past, but it is not a frequent thing that they do. They are not people who release them during the spring summer season. We're meant to have a Swarovski uh, box logo that is going to be dropping if you don't know Swarovski which I'm having a really difficult time <laughs> trying to pronounce but in short they are a jewelry company so yeah there's meant to be a box logo for that people have estimated retails of over a thousand pounds people have estimated lower end retails but that is where we are at uh, with one of the pieces that is meant to be coming out this season now there were a couple of items that were leaked uh, that I had seen I still don't know if all of them are true or if most of them are true, but obviously if they were leaked, it's normally something that could end up being correct. So there are meant to be a couple of pieces that are going to be coming out. One of them is meant to be a uh, like director's chair. In the past, they released a Coleman folding chair, which my brother had and sold at Crep City. Uh, but this time it's meant to be a larger or just a bigger chair, which is meant to be a director's chair. It looks basically the same concept as the Coleman chair, so I'd expect that it might possibly be made by them as well. But instead, obviously, it's got the little armrests and it probably folds out a bit differently. The Coleman chair sort of opened like that, whereas I'm guessing this is going to close in. So yeah. They're also meant to be more Swiss army knives dropping. So in the past they released Swiss army knives by uh, or collaborating with a company called Victorinox. Uh, and they're meant to be doing that again. 
uh, but obviously in just a different style I would expect because I wouldn't expect them to re-release something of the same concept or of the same product. I think the Swiss Army Knife was from uh, like 2015 but I might be wrong it might be close to 2015 so I'm gonna say like the season before let's go for like full winter 14 is when it came out. Uh, I'll probably throw up in like a text or something on the screen if I've got it wrong but the Swiss Army Knife from full winter 14 uh, they did, a, I believe, three colorways or two or three colorways overall. So yeah, we've already had this concept or this already come to be. So I'd like to see what they would do this time around because from what I've seen of the leaks and the mock-ups that people have put out, it looks pretty much dead similar to the Full Winter 14 one. Other than that, there is meant to be a Zippo dropping or I've seen bits and pieces about a Zippo dropping which just looks like it's got a full metal like front to it or this metal sort of texture to it uh which yeah people have been leaking and saying is going to be coming out we're also meant to be having some locks dropping which are like the three combination or four combination locks uh that are meant to be coming in the red and white colorway and then the black and white colorway now honestly there is a ton of other stuff that i could personally go over but i just want to give the basic information and the majority of things that I know up till now. Obviously, if you are looking for any information, I'm sure there are other people who have uploaded videos about this and have covered the details, but I've personally just been like sitting back on it because I've been getting on with uni assignments and I didn't really think that I needed to completely cover everything. I just needed to get the best things and just put it out there. There have been some other tweets that Jay has also been putting out just before I end off the video, which he said there was meant to be a wolf top coming, but that was only a a week and a bit ago and the tweet is already like gone also showing that there's going to be a rain shirt and a baseball jersey those tweets or the images have gone from that and that there's meant to be a flannel shirt and shorts those have gone as well for the patchwork piece it is meant to be an arc logo patchwork jacket or an arc logo harrington patchwork jacket and obviously they're going to be patchwork cargo pants so that is going to cover this video if you enjoyed a like be much appreciated other than that I know I haven't been uploading, but when the season rolls in, I'll get back to the like four or five uploads a week. And yeah, spring summer 19 starting, so we're all going to have to get ready to either take W's or take some L's. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.